here we study the effect of frequency of incident radiation on the stopping potential how does stopping potential is changed with the increase in the or with the change in the frequency of incident radiation can be studied using this graph from the graph it is clear that as we increase the frequency of incident radiation the stopping potential is uh, increasing linearly the graph is a straight line this is showing that the stopping potential are equivalently it is also applicable for maximum kinetic energy of the electrons means on y axis instead of the stopping potential we can take the maximum kinetic energy of the elect emitted electrons maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons also now from this graph it is clear that here we draw the graphs for two metal surfaces a and b differently now let us choose a metal surface a for metal a it is clear that as we increase the frequency here the stopping potential or maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons is increasing linearly and also we observe one more thing that's here the graph is started from a minimum stopping minimum frequency that is called nu naught it is a threshold frequency for the metal surface the value of threshold frequency is different for different metal surfaces if you choose a metal surface b for the metal surface b the threshold frequency is other value it may be nu naught 2 now if the frequency is greater than the threshold frequency in for both the metal surfaces we observe that as we increase the frequency this uh, stopping potential and also maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons is increasing here we understand like this here as we increase the frequency of instant radiation the kinetic energy of electrons also increases why because as we increase the frequency the energy of photon increases as a uh, energy of photon increases out of the total energy of the photon from the total energy of the photon certain amount of energy is required that is called work function is just uh, to detach the electron from the metal surface the remaining energy is given to the electron as a maximum kinetic energy so as frequency increases photon energy increases as photon energy increases uh, except the work function the remaining energy given as a maximum kinetic energy of electron also increases as a maximum kinetic energy of electrons increases here we we require the more negative potential to stop the electrons that is the reason why as frequency increases energy of photons increases and a kinetic maximum kinetic energy of electrons in photo electrons increases thereby stopping negative stopping potential also increases here so from the graph also we understand the same thing here but the stopping potential and maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons does not depend on the intensity of the incident radiation and also we observe that <coughs> for a metal surface for a or for b now below the minimum frequency called threshold frequency the stopping potential values are zero below the frequency called a threshold frequency the stopping potential is zero stopping potential is zero means uh, no potential is required for a collector plate to stop the electrons it is possible only in case when no electrons are released when no electrons are released then no negative potential for collector plate is required to stop the electrons means uh, when the frequency of incident radiation is a uh, below the threshold frequency below the threshold frequency stopping potential is zero stopping potential v naught is equal to zero means uh, no potential required for collector plate to stop the electrons because uh, no electrons are released means a uh, photoelectric emission is not possible when the frequency is uh, less than the threshold frequency now this is about the variation of the stopping potential or maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons with the frequency of the incident radiation.